Hello there my friends, for today's video I'm gonna be showing you a brief tutorial how I make digital bullet journaling using Samsung Notes app. And for this month I'm just going to make 6 simple spreads as you can see right here so you can also try it by yourself. And let's just jump right into the first one. So firstly what we need to do is that we need to choose what kind of pages that we want. Here I choose the dot template and I use white as the background color. So for the header, I usually make lettering and here I use font and pen and the size is between 70 to 90. And if you want to make hand lettering, make sure you also zoom in the page before you do it. The next that I do is that I make shadow by copying the hand lettering and then change the color and then I put it back again to the original position and adjust it to look like a shadow. So here I use this highlighter with little transparency for the little decoration at the back. So here, as you can see, I can swipe the sidebar from the right side of the tab and I can drag the gallery out to make it easier for me to copy the stickers. So here, as you can see, I cut the dog stickers because I want to save it for later. And so here, what I do is that I use this lasso crop to choose the part of the sticker that I want to use. And so I copy that sticker again because I want to take another sticker from that photo. So from the sidebar, there is also clipboard that I think is really useful. I usually save the things that I want to put into the journal by simply just copying it and then they will be saved on the clipboard. And here, as you can see, I just play around with the copy, paste, and the sizing as well as the positions. Here's another decoration that I put with the highlighters and here I use this straight line marker pen for the date of the month that I will be using it later on. And as you can see before, I usually write in general with the pen style called pen. So for the second spread is called intention and goals. Every pages, I always want to make it pretty to look at and so that is why I make all kinds of different style of headers for every pages but you don't have to do that. You can simply just use one type of header and that is totally fine. But here I use the type of the pen called pen to make this cursive header and we can also change colors and sizes with that A icon tool. <laughs> and guys, I think I need to confess here, as I am right now editing this voiceover, I realized that I 
really put that much effort just for making this header <laughs> i mean you don't have to do that but as for me bullet journaling is like my healing time and so yeah i really spend that much time to make this template but yeah just do whatever you want guys if you wanted to make it simple then just go for it <laughs> Anyway, with the help of this neat shapes tool, I can make a border for me to write down the intentions and the goals that I have for the month. So for the monthly log here, as you can see, I dragged the layout from the clipboard. It is actually the one that I copied from my previous journal. And here I'm just going to change the dates and also the styles of the layout so that I don't have to make it from scratch. And here, as you can see, that I'm slowly tap the header that I want to change the colors of because if I don't do it carefully, it'll also change the color of the shadow. So we don't want to do that here. So next, we're going to change the style of the layout with the help of that a icon too and then we're gonna replace the date as well so this is what i think is the benefit that we can get with making bullet journal or maybe note taking digitally because by simply just copy and paste things we don't need to use that much effort to make the layouts or the same thing all over again with the same style as before Anyway, here we can also add some stickers related to the events 
that you write but since it's a birthday i'm just gonna use a balloon sticker here So again for this spread, I'm also going to use the layout I made before in my June bullet journal. So here I'm just going to paste it. And to make it look different here, I put the header on the center of the page and then I'm going to make a border for every habit later on. Here I go to the page cover to copy the dates. So there's a lot of different inspo for every spread of bullet journal on the internet but for this habit tracker i think i'm just gonna stick with the same layout as before because it's really simple to make so for this gratitude log i'm just gonna make a big simple header with then and change the colors for each word anyway i've been saying this in every single bullet journal video but this spread is my favorite because i think this is the most important purpose of bujoing aside from staying productive and this spread helps us to remind and makes us focus of the positive things that did work out throughout the day rather than feeling bad about things that hadn't anyway for the concept of the spread here i'm kind of improvising here i have an idea to make this a whole bunch of um, abstract thingy and so for each one i'm gonna put on the dates and yeah if i want to write it down i'm just going to zoom it in and write as many as i like so for this last spread which is weekly log here i'm going to make a simple thin hand lettering with little abstract decoration here and there so for the next one i'm gonna make the days of the week to divide it with the straight line marker pen And here, since day one starts from Sunday, I'm just gonna write down Sunday first. Next one, I'm just gonna put some bullets for every day for to-do list, but this is optional. Instead of to-do list, you can also write down about anything that you want to say for the day. Here, as you can see, I drag out the layout of dates that I did earlier. And here, I'm gonna put this August calendar on the left corner to look up how many days left.
as you see right here i also make a little study tracker for every week just a little tip here if you want to make a line you can draw a line but you need to hold it for a second and it'll automatically be a straight line and yes if you notice it i made two sundays right there <laughs> and here as you can see with the help of select mode we can also change the size of the line as well Alright, so guys, I guess that is all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye bye!